evening all welcome to kicking dust now this is a 1.4 free zone um this is old footage and basically um i'm i'm basically enacting an embargo um and i want to talk today about average players now this isn't a troll please don't think it is what i think actually we um and i think certainly a lot of people maybe misunderstand is that i hate this game i don't i i want to use a visual metaphor here to show that we need and well not we ccp need to actually think of new and ingenious ways to get more people to play this game and that's pretty much what today's discussion is about the mechanics of 1.4 i think are being fixed and again i would stress ccp are brilliant at doing this they may balls up certain things but the reality is is that they're very quick and capable to fix things so i think it's very hard to i think maintain much of a rage at them however as you see that counter ticking down this is probably the problem i have with the game and i think this is certainly the problem with also the way that they've been developing it basically Basically, Dust is something like, I guess, any game really, where you know you have to have a regular flow of new content. A lot of people are here not for the game, they're here for what the game potentially will become. So when Uprising came, you all, you, you know, we pretty much saw nine and a half thousand average players. Um, you know, maybe that was a spike, but e even so, the metaphor stands. <laughs> and basically, people were playing this game because of uh, certainly the new content. It was tangible. We were able to touch and feel it. Now, I think the problem of where we are at the moment is we've not really seen anything terribly new. And I think this is something that possibly CCP should address. Now, I I love this game. I really do. And again, I I get amazed at the um, the kind of level of, of anger that we have against this game, but that is probably an interesting metric because it does show that there's a lot of love here. Usually you don't, you know, wail and gnash over something you couldn't give much of a shit about. Whereas I think the fact that, you know, myself and, you know, certainly other YouTubers, but also the wider community seem to really get quite emotional about this game is because we do love it. I think it's just the the fact that the you know the Eve universe is great. I think CCP is a great developer, and I think just generally the ingredients are all there, but they're still not being quite put together correctly. Let's say um, the game as it stands is still you know perfectly serviceable. It's good. Yeah, they keep messing with the mechanics, and I think that's because maybe that's the only thing they actually have a mandate to do. Um, but I think really what maybe we should be doing, and again, just looking at that average count going down, is because there's nothing new to come in to pep up that number. If you go to evoflying.com, I think it's .com, it could be .net. Anyway, it's basically the stats page that Cribber um, runs and keeps a, an eye on the average player counts across Eve and Dust. And what you'll see with Dust is that every time a new patch comes out with content, not just fixes, but content, the average player goes massively up because people return to the game obviously to play it and have some fun i think my biggest challenge with uh the game at the moment is for some time there hasn't really been anything substantially new you know and i just say there's only really a handful of things that i think a lot of people are really truly waiting for it's bait better interaction with eve i think certainly that was something there new maps so i guess we have had new maps so then you know hopefully we'll start to see a, a maybe a an increase on the average players um for 1.4 but i think that's been kind of tapered if you like by the fact that a lot of people have not logged in to 1.4 because of things like auto assist aiming which you know in some cases will annoy certain people now it's too easy and again this is a problem we have with the dust community which is verging on being the worst community close to dota dota and 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 pretty much i would say well yeah you know <laughs> dota and dota 2 community are as as terrible and horrendous as you can get and I think the dust community isn't too far behind because there's too many people who love to stick the boot in. You know, there's not enough people who are kind of looking at the game in a collective fashion. So a lot of people, I got a lot of hate because people were saying, oh, mouse and keyboard noob can't, you know, can't run around, blah, blah, blah. But the irony is I don't always use mouse and keyboard. I have started using controller and many other things. I think it, it's an irony that I think a lot of players just sit there and, and make the contest in the game a contest outside of the game, which I don't generally do. I think that's kind of pointless. Um, anyway, so I think in terms of the, the, the kind of challenge that they have, the reality of new maps is not necessarily good enough to draw people back. What people want is more suits. They want more guns. They want more vehicles. They want maybe some different mechanics. I think certainly interaction with Eve is going to be important. These are all the things that I think people want. Now, I understand these are also the hardest things for people to get. 
um, because they take time, they take, you know, you've got to code them, you've got to develop them, you've got to do a lot of stuff. Fixing stuff is, is a very different story to uh, building and creating stuff. So I think that's, the, that's, that's completely understood why we haven't seen too much new stuff. The lack of an EP probably hasn't helped as well because there's nobody kind of really taking charge. And again, I do cite my awful you know, blue chip business bollocks here because whenever we have this situation in, uh, in, I guess, business, the first thing you do is you put somebody in charge. And usually that causes a lot of drama, but the reality is, is that by putting somebody in charge, there's at least somebody's vision to drive it forward. And I don't know if they've done that with Dust. It doesn't feel as if they've done that with Dust. It doesn't feel they've gone to somebody in the Dust team and said, right, while we're waiting for an EP, you, whoever that may be, are in charge. You can now push this forward. And as long as you can you know, involve some form of steering committee, then you know, go for it. And that's why I think we've stagnated. It feels like the game stagnated. For some time, and I think we've not seen any new content because nobody's really wanted to develop it. Nobody's really maybe had the balls to push it forward. Or maybe it's just something that has been developed and maybe this has happened, but the reality is, is it's just taking too long. A game like Dust, I think, is a tricky thing to, um, to kind of quantify at any particular point in time as well, because I think as long as CCP stick to the fact that they are going to have this game, for, there's a 10 year roadmap, etc., etc., well, then basically I think um, you know, we could be looking at this game in a very isolated fashion. Maybe they can't handle too many you know, tens of thousands of players. Maybe that's also a factor as well. So you know, there's always a, a very wise decision behind this. And I think you know, sometimes what may look like inactivity and, and to a degree ineptitude, and I, I don't mean that in a, an offensive way, um, is actually maybe a calculated decision. But again, because we're not really aware of it, and nor should we be, because again, we're the customer. You don't never tell your customer things are going wrong. Um, but I think at the moment, you know, sometimes I think uh, a lot of the challenges that maybe um, are out there are kind of just because nobody's really addressing them. They are literally the elephant in the room and no, everyone's kind of shuffling around it, not trying to acknowledge it, um, which is an issue. Now, let's talk about the average player. Now, again, my metric is still running down. It's a nice metaphor, isn't it? But the reality is, is that, again, we've seen a lot of players log on and then, you know, that starts to taper off. Now, this is not unusual. I think Eve is exactly the same. But with Dust, it's gone from a very high point of around, you know, I want to say sort of six to eight K average players per day down to what I think recently has been almost three to two to two and a half K, which is not great. And I think, you know, I don't show this metric to kind of, you know, take the piss. I show this because I want people to feel guilty if they love this game and they want it to work but they're frustrated with it you still have to log in okay and that that sucks i know but a lot of the time too many people will just sit here and say the game shit the game shit the game shit and i'll be like okay when did you last play oh i haven't played for months well fuck you i don't want your opinion if you haven't played literally in the last few days don't tell me your old you know stupid ass opinion and i think this is kind of the challenge that's going on because what we want people to do is even yeah if they still think the game is crap still log in try it out if it's crap then you have the right to tell me it's crap but you know as somebody who logs in relatively regularly okay this week's been a bit of a nightmare but as somebody who does log in relatively regularly i will still say that all of the frustrations i have with the game when i log in are usually you know reduced in their sincerity when i log out um, now with things like aim assist that's a very particular thing that i have an issue with and i'm not going to let that dampen my my love of this game i'm going to find a way to adapt but the reality is is that you know most players maybe won't do that but give it a go things are being tweaked all the time and too often too many people are just sat there you know literally sat back stroking their net big saying you know game's dead game's dead and i think you're, you're wrong to do that try it and if you still don't like it come back in a month's time and i think if you do that you're not going to miss out on what could be quite a unique experience from a gaming point of view so there we go as a massive hypocrite as i say this i'm using old footage there is a bit of a kind of gimmick around that because i've got so much old footage that i do want to use um but i will start to show 1.4 footage it's just because i play a different style and at the moment i haven't quite I haven't quite kind of clicked with my play style in this new version yet. I'm very slow and I'm very tanked and I'm you know using things like lasers and stuff, which isn't terribly interesting, whereas I kind of like to show you some of the old stuff we did because, hey, it's relatively interesting. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. I think I have a commitment to this game and I really do want it to succeed. 
Um, I get infuriated like hell with it, but that is usually a good indicator that I actually give a shit. And again, I would stress, if you get angry and fed it with this game, keep coming back and keep logging in and you'll be surprised. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.